day. From Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the San Francisco 49ers and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in off a loss in the season opener, which doubled as the home opener. And when you lose that way, at home, season opener, it almost... Here's Richie James on the return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. James on the return. The 49er offense about to go to work, and it's Jimmy Garoppolo, Charles, at quarterback. I love just about everything about him. Love his game, love his makeup, love his moxie. One of my favorite words. This guy's a competitor. Gritty, tough, you name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss, and despite the fact he threw three touchdown passes, He's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, this crowd is not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. In last week's game for Kittle, there are the numbers. Six catches, 65 yards, and a touchdown as well. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. He'll get this complete to Charlie Werner. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and 10 at the 19. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. 
for the Colts. An extra defensive back in there now on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try it now with Mostert. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guys stopped up short. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. A gain of a yard. Second and nine now. Second and nine. They'll run the screen with Mack. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen. And it sets up a third down. Third and one. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And he is going to have a Colts first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Big conversion. They were backed up deep to start the drive, able to pick up the first. So the goal is at least a first down here, right? Pick up a first down, give yourself some breathing room, and if you have to punt after that, maybe you've helped with field position and you've helped out your defense. And avoided a three and out on their opening drive. On first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Brings up second and two. Open man is Trey Burton. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. The numbers for him from a week ago, six catches, 71 yards, and a touchdown. Better tighten up the coverage if you expect to slow this guy down because if he gets going, he'll eat you up. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. That catch good for only a couple. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Intended for Marlon back. Incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. 
And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Xavier Rhodes on the coverage. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Garoppolo out wide here to Samuel. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. On first and ten, it's Mostert. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Raheem Mostert. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Intended for Raheem Buster. It's third down. And from the gun on third, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Garoppolo's. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Colts, nothing. And that last field goal, number 400 for him in his NFL career. I don't know whether this will wind up a Hall of Fame career, but he's certainly been at the top of his profession for quite a while. And that is without question, my man. One of the best kickers we've seen in the past decade or so. Big congratulations to him. Pretty nice round number. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. 34-yard line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Niners three, Colts nothing. Second and four. Taylor. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Number 28, Jonathan Taylor, the ball carrier. 
tackle made at the 38-yard line. On third down, a run by Mack. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That's good for a Colts. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. down he'll drop to throw it going deep here for Watkins and it's intercepted picked off at the 16 and this return is going to be halted right around the 28 yard line defensively that time they were in zone coverage as a rookie QB what lesson can you learn there well understand this you saw zone in college and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level so when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them They'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. When you're weaving through traffic, and now he's free. The 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert, his second touchdown on the season. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Gold with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown, so decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? That's into the hands of Pascal. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second. Here's Taylor. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch. Take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And this is incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. He completes this one to Mack. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That's going to bring up four down, only a gain of two there. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 
You call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They were losers a week ago to the Bears, but they lead things here as they begin this drive first and 10. Play action, Garoppolo. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. Xavier Rhodes on the coverage. On second down, Moster. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. To throw is Garoppolo. They'll get this into the hands of Moster. Garoppolo's pass. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Moster. Raheem Moster. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 41. Garoppolo, this one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Garoppolo now, and he comes back with one complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 37. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. First down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A run there with Mostert as he'll push this forward and call it a four-yard gain on first down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. It's now second and six. Garoppolo on the slant, able to find Ayuk. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 22-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mostert. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Ball three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Now Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. Niners, 13. Colts, nothing. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13 play drop. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. 
Yeah, Indy set to go on offense once more. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. He dumps this off to Mack. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Brings up second and three. Three receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Corey Willis. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Try forthcoming. The extra point. And that'll make it 13 7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 20. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. That's complete to the tight end, Werner. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Got a man, that's Richie James. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Garoppolo again. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brandon Ayuk as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers add on to their lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Gold to add the extra point. And the lead is now 13. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Rodgers on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And it's the Seahawks who have the lead in that one. Russell Wilson with three touchdown passes. From there, let's get to Philadelphia as we check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Carson Wentz with a touchdown pass there. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. 21-17, the final score. In the game you're watching, it was Jimmy Garoppolo who was brilliant in that first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Colts take over first and 10. At their Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. Carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Makes it third down and 12. On third down, he'll drop to throw. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Brings up second and three at the Colts' 45-yard line. There's Mostert. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards the pick up, first down. A gain of four yards. And the 49er first down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down, San Francisco, the pick up 14 yards. Well, partners, a pretty easy explanation for his success in this one. He's very comfortable throwing the football. Did you just see that one? In the pocket, no real pressure, yet to be sacked today. When he's that comfortable, that leads to those types of completions. Garoppolo on first down. Over the middle to Kittle. Complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, San Francisco. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. comes late we saw it there's your flag and we know that there's a guideline right ball's gone you get one step if you're within one step of the quarterback you can hit him as long as it's still done that is caught by the tight end kittle touchdown 49ers number 85 george george kittle his second touchdown on the season and the niners are able to stretch their lead and that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about their actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. 
Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. He's got the first down inside the ten. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Here's Mostert. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Brings up second and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. DeForest Buckner with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And that's the kind of stand all defenses are seeking. Third and goal, backs against the wall, and they get a monster sack, and now they're going to force him into a field goal. For them, that's a win. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. A 27-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. The kick. And that will extend their lead even further. Niners 31, Colt 7. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And yeah, very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. More on the tackle. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Here's second and eight. They'll run the screen with Mack. 
the pass. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And this is caught by Watkins. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. They give him a gain of 38. That's good. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. D4. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Final minute now of the third quarter. He's got Burton here. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And he's got it. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll drop to throw. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Now it's Mac draw play. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Second and goal from the sixth this time. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Trey Burton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Colts are able to draw a bit closer. His first career touchdown pass. And yeah, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time. Celebrate. Save the full reflection for later. But make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? And now the Colts are going to keep the offense on the field as they'll go for two here. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. 
Now James returning. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you're doing across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Lugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. Two yards on the pickup. It's again, they'll run it with Moster. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. But now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. There's Garoppolo to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. This is Mostert. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of six there on first. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. It's a gain of two yards. And it's third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And the Niners are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. The gain of five that time gives them the conversion and makes it first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Garoppolo, looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle, it's tight end. But it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Back to the running game with Mostert. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown 49ers. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the 49ers add six to their lead. 
A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Now gold for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he's set to go on offense once more. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The quarterback taken down and sacked. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stack sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. The and they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. And Pascal's got it. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 46. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He dumps this off to Mack. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Niners' 41-yard line. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 29. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 
They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. On the handoff, this is Mostert. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. Today's so the victory here for San Francisco. And really, it looked at times like they just had this one in cruise control out there. Yeah, they deserve a ton of credit because... You and I both know, heck, they knew. But this is a tough place to play. Overcame that with ease. Robbed home with an easy win. And here's the best part for them. It would be easy to get to the airport because the crowd left pretty early in this one, didn't it? Well, plus they have a police escort. Okay, you had to spoil <laughs> that part. And then, of course, they're going to get there. But think about how wide open things are now because this crowd didn't expect this. No. So they went back to the tailgate and said, let's go eat. This, this one didn't any fun for us. Yeah, they took the drama out of this one pretty early on. So for the 49ers, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the L.A. Rams. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.